On this jam-packed edition of Game Shack, The Simpsons is no more at Best Buy as they have a giant fire sale on some beloved arcade one-up titles. I'm going to talk all about why that is. I have some rumors about Alien vs. Predator and a little bit of information on At Games 4K Alp VPN. All that and more coming up next. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome all back into the Game Shack. I'm your host, JDV for Evil Genius Entertainment. Thank you for stopping by. As always, you guys are this channel's primary sponsors. So if you can give us a thumbs up on the way out the door, it really does help us make more videos like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, double check and make sure you've hit that notification bell so you know when videos like this one come out. Okay, right off the bat, I have to give credit to my buddy Phil over at PD7. He uh, kind of scooped me on this news that Arcade 1UP has a bunch of cabs that are being blown out the door at Best Buy. If you guys don't know, they had a big sale on Big Blue, big sale on the virtual pinball game Attack from Mars, and a big giant sale on The Simpsons amongst others, but those were the biggest sales, and all three of those cabs sold out basically immediately, and I don't think they're ever coming back particularly The Simpsons, as you look at this, if you go there right now, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see Simpsons unavailable new. <laughs> uh, try these products instead. So Phil's take on this whole thing is basically that they're blowing these games out. So there is room on the shelves for new deluxes coming down the line in 2024. And now I wish that were true because I am a big fan of Arcade 1UP. There are a few reasons why I don't think that is actually the reason why they're doing it. The first one being that all of those games came out in late 2021. So not quite two and a half years old, but in the world of retail, that's a very long time for a very big box that costs a whole lot of money to be sitting on a shelf. So when you have a big box going for a lot of money that sits on the shelves, there's a lot of impetus to move that off. And I think Best Buy finally had had enough and said, no, rather than try to sell this to a place like Ollie's, we're just gonna blow it out the door uh, for prices we know we'll sell at. We're gonna take it right on the chin. Cause remember, they're delivering these to you free. So you're getting not only Attack from Mars for $149, you're getting it for free in terms of delivery charge. So they are losing money on these things just to get them out the door. That shows you how bad they want them gone. So yeah, it's a little counterintuitive to think that they want them gone just for more products from that same company. I don't think that's the case at all. I, I, a, I don't think there's any new product coming from Arcade 1UP, at least not for months and months. Again, they haven't even announced anything, and even if they did announce something today, it still wouldn't be here in our hot little hands for three months, four months, something like that, right? So that's not why they're blowing it out. They're blowing it out to make space for TVs, for other products that take up a similar amount of space, but are more reasonably cost and have a greater demand for them. So I I mean, I just don't think they're doing it so that we can have a whole bunch of new Alien versus Predators. Speaking of Alien versus Predator, there is already a lot of doubt about that cab coming out. One, we saw that very um, real looking leak, which probably was from Arcade 1UP, and we did not hear a peep about it since. Where you would have heard something about that cab if they were really truly gonna release it, at least in the first half of this year, is at CES or during CES, and neither of those things happened. Even more potentially damaging to the idea of that cab being released, Michael B threw cold water on that idea today. Go check out his video over there, links down below, yada, 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 where he says they might not even have the license for Alien versus Predator. Now, Michael B has a fairly close relationship with Arcade 1UP, so if Michael B says they probably don't have the license for Alien versus Predator, guess what you better believe they don't have the license for? Alien versus the Predator. So I would not be expecting to see all these cabs are getting blown out at Best Buy to be replaced by Alien vs. Predator or Pac-Man XL or Ms. Pac-Man Class of 81 XL. I don't think that is going to happen at all. It's just not going to happen. Because if it were going to happen, guess what? We would already know about it. We would already have heard about Alien vs. Predator if it was going to be coming out in the first half of this year. That looks very 
very dubious right now. But what about other cabs? What about other deluxes like Robotron, uh, Smash TV? What about other XLs like maybe Class 81? People, since I put up my Tron video, have been saying, oh, we'd really love to see a Tron XL. I would love to see a Star Wars XL. I'm just gonna tell you guys, I don't think any of that's gonna happen, as in none of it, maybe. Maybe we will see a class of 81 slash Pac-Man XL at Costco coming down the line. Maybe Best Buy will have an exclusive on it, something like that. But I really don't think they have the wherewithal to do anything else other than try to move those 11 deluxe designs that came out in 2023. There are a whole lot of things that they did right in that design, but the biggest problem with them is that they're two years too late. Those designs should have came out in 2021, which is coincidentally the year that the simpsons the year that attack from mars killer instinct big blue all those cabs came out in 2021 and of those cabs the only cab that is still selling for anything close to its retail price is killer instinct but don't be shocked if you see a massive sale on that all right shifting gears a little bit i did reach out to at games and ask them uh, about their 4k Elp that's coming out real soon, hopefully within a month or less. I asked them two things. One, are you going to be able to put your high score that you get on that machine on the Steam high score list? Uh, high score list? And they said, no, it's really only going to be for that particular machine. So you're not going to be able to see them on Steam. And that really is the big news, really, is that so if you have an Elp 4K, those high scores, I think, are going to be pretty much limited just to that machine and that space. The second thing I asked them is, are they working on the ability to change perspective of their V-Pin? Because right now, you get just that one angle. You can't punch in. You can't change the inclination of the table. You can't do all the things that you can do in virtual pinball uh, programs like VPX and Future Pinball. And they said, we're working on it. So you can take that for what it means. I take it for, yeah, they recognize that it should be something that you can do, but really what they need to be able to do is let you zoom in and change the inclination to better fit your playing style, whether or not you're sitting down or standing up. If you're very tall, you will want to have it at another angle. If you're a shorter, you'll possibly want to have it be at a different angle. And for sure, there's all kind of dead space on a lot of their games, particularly the Magic Pixel original games. There's huge amounts of dead space at the top and bottom of those play fields that would be nice to zoom in and just see the actual play field and not stuff that really doesn't have to do with the game itself. Anyway, so fingers crossed, we will see an update from Zen slash at games to give us more flexibility in terms of what we see in that play field. All right, so there's a little bit of news about at games. I will continue to update you guys when I know. Uh, check out next week videos for sure where I'm gonna have a couple of episodes about virtual pinball, including a really cool new development that I think could revolutionize virtual pinball. So be sure to check that out. You know, uh, as we wrap up this episode, I was actually fairly optimistic that Arcade 1UP would be able to weather the storm uh, through 2024, moving into 2025. And now I'm, I'm a little bit more doubtful. I think Michael B. saying this, you know, don't count on us having AVP licensing. Uh, you know, that's, that's a bad sign. Seeing these big name IPs for games that realistically have not been out for even two and a quarter years going on big old fire sales to get them the heck out of stores. There is reason to worry if you are an arcade one-up fan. Fingers crossed they are able to weather storm and give us some new products in this coming year. Well, let me know down below what you think. You think this is yet another bad sign for arcade one-up or not? No, this is just one store getting rid of some stock that they've had for a long time so they can get more stock from arcade one-up or something in between there. Let me know down below. It really does matter to me and I'm very curious what you guys have to say all right so that's gonna wrap up this episode please give me a thumbs up on the way out the door and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already love each other and until next time i'll see you guys in the game shack Mwah! be sure to visit evilgeniusentertainment.com for exclusive content swag casting call news and much much more